Hello there. All right. Now let's go through a sample of Rexuvi. Okay. So you can see here the name is indicated uh, in the middle, which is a good thing because you are the highlight of the resume. But the photo is lacking. Okay. So make sure you put a photo so that people can have a, you know, a, a visual of you. Right, and then the address is indicated here, and phone number, email address is proper, okay, personal particulars, okay, age, nationality. Yeah, nationality is quite important because they would like to know whether you're Malaysian or whether you're Singaporean, American, and so on. Okay, uh, education, okay. Bear in mind, if you are a fresh graduate, your education must come first. Okay, unless you have already worked for, let's say, four to five years, then you can put your working experience first instead of your education. Alright, so education, you indicate here, uh, the highest qualification. Alright, and then you have to include whether you have done your diploma or your matriculation, okay, and then secondary school. Because that will give more input to your potential employer. Okay, for computer skills, language skills. So this is how they actually categorize. Uh, different skills according to their nature. Okay. In my in my point of view, right, it would be better if you put um, the scale of your skill for each of these. So, it's a good idea to, for you to come up um, with a table. So, you can put Microsoft Office, what is your you know level of uh, proficiency. Okay. And the same goes to your language skills. Your English, how good it is. You can also use the, 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 the scale of 1 to 5, 1 being the, the, the basic and 5 being excellent. Okay, so these are the options that you have. Working experience, okay, you indicate a little bit of, you know, achievement and the task that you uh, have done so far. Okay, and then uh, if you're going to use past tense, right, like assisted here, make sure you are consistent. Okay, because parallelism is also a part of language writing that is uh, taken into consideration. Okay. And uh, preferably use different verbs to show that you have, uh, you know, your, your skills are various. It is not only in terms of uh, assisting people. Okay, and then uh, what else? You indicate the different jobs. And then, okay, extracurricular activities, what were the uh, positions that you held previously. Okay, and add some, a little bit of, you know, the skills that you developed while uh, working on that position. Reference, okay, these are two good examples of reference. Uh, these are Professor Ahmad bin Ahmad. Okay, so these are uh, perhaps the past lecturer of this candidate. So... Yeah, basically, this is how uh, your resume should look like. So, all the best to you to come up with your own resume that can finally secure you a job.